I'm getting really lazy to like leave the house. I decided to do a little bit of meditating. This has been a lifesaver. I'm sure I'm not the only one that has been feeling a little bit weird lately and I don't know if it's like the weather changing so my emotions have been all over the place could also just be like my sleeping habits not drinking enough water just being a little bit more irritable and I hate when I feel like that because then it just affects like my productivity and I hate feeling like I'm unproductive today I have a day off I haven't had time for myself in such a long time we are gonna take today to do things for myself i really have been craving a slice of cake from this specific spot so i'm gonna go and get some today and i'll bring you guys with me and i'll put you guys on if you guys are in the toronto area but my friend elisa actually showed me this place and i haven't stopped thinking about this cake since so i think i'm gonna go there today i don't know what else i'm gonna be doing downtown but i'm very excited to just bring you guys with me i wanted to show you guys my skin right now so it's not as bad i have a pimple patch on this one right here but everywhere else looks fine i do have like minor scarring but i'm slowly building like a new skincare routine honestly like i just want to say thank you to these products because they have been saving my life and this is not sponsored so the first thing is like my cleanser so i have been using a salicylic acid cleanser for so long and i feel like it has stripped my skin so much that or my skin just got really used to it so it stopped working and i feel like you're supposed to be switching out your products but my skin like i just felt like wasn't really progressing in the way that i wanted it to so i switched out my cleanser and i got this one instead so this is the kosa rx low ph good morning cleanser and i feel like it has helped with clearing my skin i wash my face once a week no i wash my face once a day so in the morning i just wash it with some water and then i put my serums and my moisturizer on at nighttime that is when i go in because i feel like your skin doesn't have much that you need to cleanse off during the night except for oils but you just wash that with water and it should be fine whereas in the nighttime you know you've been wearing either makeup or you've just been wearing sunscreen all day so another thing that i picked up recently was the inky list niacinamide did not realize how much of a difference this would have made for my skin because I have been using the niacinamide from The Ordinary. I feel like it doesn't give me the results that I, you know, hear that everyone has. I had a really bad purging moment with The Ordinary one, whereas this one I haven't had any issues. Let me know which one you guys prefer because I've heard that people actually prefer the Inky List one over The Ordinary one. I'm getting really lazy to like leave the house. And I think that's like a very common thing. I'm just sit like literally standing in my washroom talking to you guys right now but i've been feeling very unproductive lately and i don't like when i feel like that so i'm going to force myself to get outside of the house today and then call it a day because i'm way too tired today okay let's go <laughs>
really wholesome conversation with the worker about my camera and what I was filming for and I thought I pressed record but I didn't but it was really nice to talk about something I'm passionate about especially when I was feeling really unmotivated and uninspired but it just goes to show talking about something in a positive light can really change your view on something. So today we are going to the pumpkin patch and I haven't gone to the pumpkin patch in such a long time So I think it honestly has been like a couple years. So I'm very excited to bring you guys with me I'm excited to see the animals. I'm excited to see the pumpkins and most importantly their food I'm very excited to be eating but basically for my top I'm wearing this little like corset looking ribbed shirt and it's actually from H&M I was gonna wear one of these pants right here, but I feel like this is more fall appropriate so these cargos are from zara and i think they're sold out of it unfortunately but i know aritzia has like a literally identical pair and i think it's sunday best but i will link it into the description box for you guys and then for my shoes to go with brown i'm wearing my wallabies but yeah that is my outfit for today and i think today for my bag i'm gonna be wearing my baby fendi baguette bag it has brown in it so i think it goes really well with the colors of today's outfit but yeah i'm very excited for this date because it's like very fall festivities and we love to see it so yeah but that is today's outfit and that is today's plan so let's go where do you think we should go first i want to look at that all right we're gonna go look at myself so. <laughs> I'm gonna explain them a little differently than you might expect. So work and career is kind of obvious, right? It's what do we do for work? What are we stepping into as our career? But I wanna talk about this in relationship to your creativity, passions, and hobbies, which is life zone number two. So this morning I decided to do a little bit of meditating, as you guys saw. I have been trying to find different forms of meditation for such a long time, and I just wanna say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this small portion of today's video. Learning a new skill in graphic designing, filming, editing, absolutely anything. There are so many different classes that you can dabble in, whether it's with music, arts. Skillshare is made specifically for learning, so there are no ads in between to interrupt your class. And even for me, when I'm trying to find different ways of meditation, there were so many different options to choose from. But the one that I'm doing right now is called Modern Meditation, Discovering Your Potential, Power, and Purpose by Justin Michael Williams. And I feel like his voice really does just really help you stay focused. And this class is essentially 10 days of freedom meditation and this is a journey that you can take on your own time it doesn't have to be done consecutively throughout 10 days but you can space it out however your schedule is set up for example the first day is claiming your vision and i have my little notes in my journal here but he talks about six different life zones so there's work and career creativity your well-being authentic relationships 
financial freedom and service and then there's a small portion at the end he gives you a small workbook for you to fill out and it honestly doesn't take much time it's about like 20 minutes and i either do one of his classes in the beginning of the day or at the end of the night and it really just helps you unwind and just be a little bit more calm throughout your day or to end the night the class that i previously did was the revolutionary self-care class by chidera i finished that i think two weeks ago so if you guys want to try skillshare out for yourself the first a thousand of you guys that clicks the link in the description box will get a one month free trial and you can take on your own learning journey so it is a little bit later like an hour later i fell asleep so I'm getting ready, but I wanted to show you guys this blush. Summertime Wine, the Fenty Cream Blush. And my hand has so much makeup all over it, but look at the color, guys. And I use a brush, pat it in to the cheeks. Everybody has different placement for their blush, but mine, I like to kind of keep on the apples of my cheeks. I really need to set my face, though, because it's really, really oily right now. Or just glowy i guess because the foundation i've been using and i came back to this one this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear one i used it previously and i forgot about the scent and i think that's why i stopped using it but then i picked it up again and i like the formula of it it's just the scent that's a little crazy but basically to give you guys a rundown i'm going downtown with some of my girlfriends to go get some food and some drinks. I'm going with Elisa, Pam, and Julie, and I think this is the first time you guys are ever seeing any of them, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna try and film as much, but I also want to, you know, spend my time with them, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be getting out of this day. And I just need to film my eyebrows in, and then I should be good to go. One of my favorite songs right now is You Can't Save Me by Seer, Sir, I don't know how he pronounces it but this song is so good and i've been listening to it on repeat for a while now and i don't know it just makes me happy puts me in a good mood um and it's really calming let me just play it really quick for you I wanted to show you guys my outfit. So the top that I'm wearing is from 437. It's actually a set. It has a matching pair of like loose leg pants that come with this color and it's really, really cute, but it's raining. So I don't know if I want to wear that today. And then for my jeans, I'm wearing these asymmetrical ones from Princess Polly. I don't know what jacket I'm going to be wearing, but this is the outfit for today. As for like what I wear underneath, because I get this question asked a lot, I got these little like adhesive covers for your nipples. Um, so you guys are looking for something new that is seamless, literally cannot see a thing. So I've been wearing these a lot. And for anyone who doesn't like wearing bras, but hates like the hassle of having your nipples out, but also free the nipple if you really want to. But if you guys are like me and you don't really like the look of your nipples showing through your shirt sometimes, this has been a lifesaver. They have different colors, I think, because this one, it just says nude. I gotta get out the house right now because I'm gonna be late, so yeah. <laughs> 